Welcome to my third tutorial of Linux Flight. In this tutorial, we will learn how to install add-ons. A good website to go is to uploaders57area.com. In here you'll find various add-ons and maps you can use for Linux Flight. I'm going to search for a solar. see how how it'll function when we get to the pack. We'll download the Wang SFA pack. And keep in mind some websites might be in a different language, so if it asks you if you understand it or don't understand it, then just press press understand. In this case the what the add-on doesn't add on directly yet. It is in a set of data on a link. Since this link has a CAVX extension, which is short for a cabinet file, we can either copy this data or do it the other way. The way I would do it is go to File, Save As, and save it as a cabinet file. Leave it as page source that way you'll maintain its data. And put in don't append. And that way it won't it won't change its data or its format. And just double check. The data might load as another pack. It happened to me several times before, but this is one of the way you can make sure it doesn't download in the incorrect format. One good app to use would be the Unlock Shaper. This is a, the ideal file extractor for Mac, and it might be for Windows as well if it is. A Actually, Windows already has an, an extractor in its program, so the Unlock Achiever would be an ideal one. To download this, let's search the Unlock Achiever, and that way you'll find it. What do you know? It is for Windows too. You can download this, download this pretty much in any website as long as it's a secure website. I would recommend going to a website. Doesn't recommend you loading any antivirus programs. That might make it unsecure. I downloaded it at cnat.com. Well, since I already have it installed, I don't need it to download. Now, let's open the app. Arn achieve the desktop. And then we select the file. Arn achieve. Now, there we have it. To know where exactly to put the file, look in the IST file. Normally it would either be set it directly in either aircraft or, use or user, depending if it's an aircraft or map. In this case we're installing an aircraft so it would be in user slash kzs slash ysfa. So let's place this folder in the user file. Will be the folder. I would recommend you copying it. That way, it won't lose the data. If 
if you make a mistake or if you misplace all the all the information inside and scramble it all that way this will just make it more organized. Now for this one, all you have to do now here is copy these two and then place these under our craft. Now let's open up more slides. Now let's see if it works. Looks like it worked pretty well. Not only a display error, but you'll get used to it. Oh, okay, I don't know what happened there. So solar is supposed to march that way because it's running in an unusual form. So it, that's probably just how solar is run. Let's see how this man runs. I would change the speed of this man to around 20 miles per hour. Well, 20 knots actually. The game reads speed of knots. Much better. It's pretty pretty rough there. But then that's probably just part of the game. Looks creepy actually. There might be a way to fix this, if we can somehow fix the animation of this character, but I'll just show you that example. Let's choose Michael Knight. It might just move the animation, but we will just leave it at 10 knots. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, and I hope I'll see you in another tutorial.